and the kitchen saga continues. We're going on week four, possibly five, of not having a kitchen, fully functional kitchen. But we're hanging in there, and we have our new cabinets that I gave you a little tour, show them to you. Um, we are very, very pleased with the results so far. We're not done, but we're getting close. Uh, here is our cabinet, and um, we are very happy with them. They're maple, and they're so nice and pretty and shiny, and I wish they would stay like this forever, but I know they won't because I'm me. And you get a bird's eye view of what we have inside of our our drawers now because we don't have countertops. Um, love my new range. Love it. However, this shiny pretty black or range top here will not stay this way for long. And the dishes that we had or the pots and pans that we had were very old, warped, and the bottoms were scratchy and I knew that it wouldn't take long for us to put some pretty good sized scratches in our range top with those. So we got rid of them. They were super old anyway and it was time. We'd just been putting it off. So we went ahead and bought new pots and pans and they're aluminum, treated aluminum with smooth bottoms and um, so we won't have to worry about them flaking off and giving us brain damage. <laughs> That's a plus. Um, but I'm scared to use it. I'm scared to use my range top. I want it to stay pretty and nice, and I know that it won't, and so I'm just kind of waiting for that first scratch so I don't have to be so paranoid. But it's a convection oven, which means that it, it has a fan in there that blows, and it, so it cooks food more evenly. And oh my gosh, guys, it really does make a big, huge difference. It cooks at 25 degrees less, so it saves a little energy, and we have been just thrilled with the results so far. And our microwave. We didn't used to have a microwave up top. We just had it on our on our countertop, so we're very happy with that. And um, I'm going to show you what's inside my cabinets because we got rid of so much junk. I mean, and I mean junk, guys. That now <laughs> I don't have a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is probably going to be reserved for our medicines, and I'm going to do a separate video on that because. We have so much medicine that it's just, well, I'll talk about that later. Okay, and then more of our pretty cabinets. Okay, come over here, and here's our bookshelf that we put our cookbooks on. Love my bookshelf. Oh, it's so cute. And look, I have room down there, guys. I can, I can put more cookbooks down there. In fact, I have ordered the Pioneer Woman's Cookbook. Oh, can't wait to get it. I've heard so many good things about it. So um, I can't wait to put that in my new bookcase. Okay, and then we have our trash can here, a little pull-out trash can. Yes, we have two. We have two because we go through a lot of trash. Uh, food, paper goods back here. That's how I want it to go. Who knows if it'll actually work out that way. And Kevin's computer because I wasn't lying, guys, when I said that we needed a space for our kitchen computer because we're geeks. What can I say? And uh, come over here, and this is where, of course, the sink, my poor little sink, will go eventually, hopefully one day, maybe when I'm 100. Here's my little wedge drawer that I'll put all my little sponges and stuff in. I love my little wedge drawer. New dishwasher we haven't had a chance to use yet because it needs to be hooked up to the sink. And the glass doors, which we, you know, don't have a lot in there, just cups and have to have all my coffee paraphernalia someplace. And um, our junk drawer and our humongous black refrigerator with, with a cool little, you know, ice water thing here, which we've never had before, and the boys love it. So that is our kitchen. And we're now waiting on countertops. The guy finally got here on Monday. Uh, finally. I think that was longest was trying to make an appointment with him to come out. Anyway, they're in Columbia, which is like three hours away. So, you know, what can you do? But he came out on Monday, spent two hours, I hear, making a template. 
we uh, were very specific on what we wanted and very happy with the, how the template turned out, so I'm sure it's going to be great. The color we've chosen is new to their line, so of course, that's the way it always works with us. Um, so he said that if they have it in stock a week, if they don't, more like two weeks. And I'm not holding my breath, I'm expecting more like two weeks before we get a countertop in here. So, a couple more weeks of the inconvenience, I feel like I'm camping in our own house. Not very fun, but the end result will be worth it. So, we're almost there. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can see it. Very small, but I can see it.